Welcome to Bedford Autodrome and welcome to the fantastic ZX10R, but also welcome to the California Superbike School. I've done all three of the previous levels of the California Superbike School. I find it absolutely fantastic. The structured way they take you through each phase of the learning is absolutely brilliant. Today I'm doing level four, which is the one where basically you can go back and revisit anything you want to spend a little bit more time developing. So the other track days I've had, you know, I've realized where I'm weak. So today we're going to concentrate on the areas I'm weak to make me a better overall rider and hopefully someone who can ride a ZX10 without falling off this time. So if that sounds of interest, grab yourself a cup of tea and chopsy roll the intro. The Californian Superbike School was founded in 1980 by Californian Keith Code. Keith's books, videos and schools were the first to make that knowledge available to everyone globally. Each skill builds on the last and creates a complete package of rider control and confidence. The school operates on a three to one student to coach ratio and its syllabus consists of four levels of training, each of which is delivered in a single day. Each level covers a range of technical skills and drills which are taught off track and then practice on track. The course can be undertaken on your own motorcycle or one of the school's brand new Kawasaki motorcycles can be hired. Today, I'm riding the ZX-10R and today I complete my level four training. So, California Superbike School, I'm back. I'm doing my level four, which is the final final one well, you can do level four as many times as you want but this is the the one where basically you revisit the previous lessons and improve and, and think where do you need to go better and what could you do better where do you want to improve and this is what this is all about I find I'm suffering with visualization like lines around a track finding reference 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 points for braking because you should be picking up reference points as you go around a new circuit you should be finding reference points to see where you to start braking, you know, where to turn in, where to, you know, the apex of the corner, obviously, and, you know, where to go on the gas and, you know, and then each, you need to set that up in your mind for each of the corners of the circuit. I'm not very good at that. I just tend to go out and sort of just evolve and, you know, not really pick anything up. This is the second session. I've sat down, had a briefing with my coach. I've also had a briefing with the level four liaison. Basically, he said, all pretty good. On this final corner before the straight, I need to work on like, the corner exit. I've got my turning points all working quite well. I've just got to look at where I'm going to be, um, you know, where I'm going to end up. So I'm hitting the apex, but then where, where, where's my, you know, where am I looking? It's all about vision. I wanted to work on my vision today. And it's, you know, where am I looking? Where, where should I be looking? We've been taught this already as part of level one. You know, that was three, four years ago. It's brilliant to sort of recap on this vision thing because it's the vision stuff makes a huge difference, you know, to your speed on track. If you got your vision sorted and you're turning in, you got you got turning and reference markers on the track, you, know, you can then up increase the speed using those reference points. And uh, I haven't really been doing that, so you know, I'm limiting myself of how fast I can be and very unsafe I can be as well because you know there's always a risk on my run off track and stuff like that if I'm not being consistent with my lines so that's what I want to work on today Hi Jane! Hi. Yeah I'm How good uh, Visual skills again Okay how many gears? Two gears I believe Or well, one, one gear and no brakes oh, two There's two gears and no brakes perfect She's lovely Jane Jane basically runs this whole place She is lovely She's a nurse and she uh, done herself in in the line of duty, so I'm allowed two gears, no brakes. But the other reason they say no brakes is so you, you've got time to learn. I mean, otherwise you just end up going too fast. You need time to learn, and that's my mistake when I do a track day. You know, I don't give myself time to learn. I just go straight out the gates, you know, and not spend enough time getting the basics set up and finding all the reference points I need throughout the day you know by the end of the day my speed's there but I've still not got the reference point sorted and my lines are still terrible so that's what I want to concentrate on I've got to start doing the three step which is basically where you sort of look up the track so you find your 
turning point, then you look, look at your apex. When you're sure you're going to hit the apex, you then look at the exit point. So you, you, you're stepping your, your visual. So, you know, that's what I've got to try and work on now. Turning point, exactly where I thought it would be. Apex, and then look up, lift your vision up the circuit. So we've had a couple of sessions now since lunch, going really well. Still working on my sort of two-step, my, my vision skills, um, but just moving them to, I'm sort of sorting a corner out and they're moving to a different corner and sorting that out. Um, in the level four, they've also got a bit of video of you. So you can, when you go break down in the briefing, they see a bit of video from behind you and talk about your lines and you know what your body, body position, et cetera, if it's needed. Um, but yeah, I'm, personally, I'm still looking at the vision stuff. So we're going to turn one, and the small little chicane. We're going to do a little bit more work in there because I'm sort of vision narrowing in a bit on those smaller corners rather than opening the vision out and looking around the corner. I'm sort of narrowing in a little bit, so I've got to try and work on that. But uh, it's been really good, really enjoying it. Can't wait for the next one. Last session, still doing the visual stuff, been working on that all day, trying to perfect it at different corners. And I've got to work on this corner. Just opening the corner, you know, looking around a bit more. I'm, I'm, and the little tight stuff, I'm becoming a little bit narrow vision. You know, I mean, the vision's becoming narrow. So the idea is to improve that. It's the last session, you know, I don't want to bin it. I've been there, I've done that. Um, I don't want to bin another ZXR. So I'm going to take the time not go too mad you know it's a school day I say I've been all about visuals today again I've got traffic don't fixate on the traffic you know make sure you're gonna get through then attack the corner as you normally would <laughs> squirt through a bit of trail breaking get us through up the road on the brakes look up the road again slowly roll on the throttle it's Glenn Glenn's brilliant I mean look at this look at his body position and his style he looks absolutely fantastic on that bike need another gear really Told me to experiment with putting weight on the outside, let's just counter steer it in, put weight on the outside of the bike. So he said, Look, look, a two step, look at the entry.
we go that is the end of the day i've had an absolutely fantastic time here thrashing this uh, zx10 around I'm, I'm really loving the zx10 now um you know i had my little accident at snetterton ah, oh. that's, that's it now i've done all four i can come back again now and work on other drills i need and feel like i need more work on so that's i've really sorted out my vision skills from level two uh, on this one which is where I felt I was really lacking but you know, the day's wound up and I've definitely faster at the end of the day definitely more confident um, and I'm looking forward to actually to coming back maybe next year if they have me and I work on a bit more and refine my skills further but since I've been doing this California Superbike School I've come on my track riding has come on so much if you're interested, I'll put links below in the description. I can't recommend this highly enough. I mean, I don't think there's any other training which is, stru is as, as structured as the California Superbike School. Like I said, I've been coming now for four years. I've had four different instructors. I couldn't pick between you which one was the best. They're all absolutely fantastic. And I think they're all teaching you the same thing. You're not getting different information from one instructor to another. You know, they're all following the rule book and you're getting all being taught the same thing, which is absolutely brilliant. When you start to put all that together, it makes such a difference. So uh, if you're interested, check out the links below and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.